epic uh, Crazy Frog Racer, the annoying thing in gameplay. And you will only see quality gameplay of Crazy Frog Racer on the Game Boy Advance on this very channel that you're watching right now. This is going to be the best video I will ever post on this stupid fucking channel. So why don't we... Why don't we, why don't we start? Okay, so we have a tournament, a checkpoint rally, a checkpoint madness, we have last man standing. I am very new to this scene, so I'm going to start with tournament. Let's, let's go ahead. We have three speed options. We don't have 200 CC like Mario Kart, so we're going to we're going to take it a bit slow. Let's meet the characters. Here we have uh, Mr. Crazy himself. He's, he's looking as iconic as he ever does. You know, with the uh, suicide tweet and everything. Yeah, but but let's meet his friends. Let, let's see because. I don't really know any other Crazy Frog characters. I didn't know this guy had a universe behind him, so let's go check that out. We have Big Elk, who looks like, uh, Hasty from Crash Team Racing, so now we know where they took the inspiration from. We have Dream Boy. Ooh, very... This, this is being recorded in the 21st of November of 2023. Right now, Dream and Boy are not two words you want to put together. So we're going to forget that character. Uh, push Shell. Rasta Dog. I don't want to see Rasta Dog. Punk Girl. As you can tell by her hairstyle of choice. She's very punk. Mafia Hen. Which doesn't seem very interesting. Toro. Oh, no, I like, I like this guy. Is he like the main villain? And Crazy Frog. So we have all of these iconic characters joining Crazy Frog in his wonderful racing game that I am sure will be very fun. So let's uh let's well let's keep it basic. I know that a lot of people go like, oh you play Mario Kart and well, of all the 100 different characters you can play as you pick Mario, lol, cringe. I'm going to follow the same principles here because I don't know any of these fucking people. I only like this guy. So I'm going to keep it straight and I'm going to stay on Crazy Frog. Hopefully he doesn't make me go crazy. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I think the game crashed. The fucking game crashed. I'm gonna leave this all in, I don't wanna edit this. There we go! Alright, let's see. Okay, this is Accelerate, and uh... Very, very tight turning. And oh, oh shit! Okay, this is uh, this looks pretty good. You know, this looks like uh, Super Circuit and uh, Night Crash Nitro Kart. You go really fast with this fucking item. What the fuck? <laughs> Look at how far ahead I am of everybody. But yeah, this uh, this seems cool. You know, uh, this is like mode seven, I think is what it's called. So we uh, we just race around in a flood image, but it gives the illusion of it being like a full course of the track and stuff. The controls are very good. Whenever you turn, there's no drifting, which is unnecessary. Drifting is not really needed, you know. But we have the fucking item again, but since. Maybe this is the... Oh, okay, it's over. This this game is very good so far. I, li I like it when... Uh, whenever you press accelerate, the car goes. And instead of drifting and um, good turning controls, you basically just move left or right. This is better than that fucking fuck-ass Shrek racing game on the same console. So at least we have that. Crazy Frog is better than a lot of other games I've played. I uh, 
I congratulate him. As you can see, uh, we beat Big Elk and Green Boy. So let's uh, let's keep going. Let's see what what um, other wonderful tracks we can race in in this crazy frog world. I feel like this is part of the experience. Okay, okay, we're there. We go. I was about to say, I feel like this is part of the experience, the uh, the anticipation of never knowing when exactly you're about to crazy frog race. I I can only break when I turn. That seems to be like the way to do uh, to turn to do dress sharp turn. Very responsive, as you can see. Look, this is very good. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Oh, is that? Is that Toro in front of me? In front of me? Is that you, Toro? Let's see if we can catch up to him. We must win the crazy frog race. I'm not gonna go a little too crazy on these turns. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, we're, we're in fourth place. He fucking exploded in front of me. I guess that was the, uh, the equivalent of the banana peel. Because, you know, Mario is a kid's game, so it's going to have childish items such as bananas and turtle shells and stuff. Crazy Frog? No. He's the real fucking deal. He has explosives and rockets and shit. This is how you know Crazy Frog is for, uh, general audiences. And isn't just trying to make your kids laugh. Look! Look, Spike! Just straight up spikes. Somebody could trip on that fall and have their face ripped in half by a chimp. Uh, Toto seems to be very comfortably ahead. I don't like that. But at least we can secure a nice third place. And considering that this is a tournament, we still have uh, we still have two more races ahead of us. Unless I fuck up like this. Unless I fumble this hard. Which I won't! Because I'm the best fucking crazy frog racer in this fucking planet. Let's go! Take that, Mafia Hen. Iconic crazy frog character, Mafia Hen. What is this fucking track? It looks like the... The... Stuffy? The cool last week people used to scribble on the notebooks because it looks cool and it was easy to do. I'm probably going to do one right now on screen. This is a weird layout for a track, but... We just got the, the best looking item in racing game history. That basically shoots you through... This is better than the bullet bill. Look at how fucking far ahead I am! You know what? I lost very badly. On the last race, I got third place, and I did not like third place. So the game is um, rewarding me for my patience by giving me the most broken item in the game. I've only ever heard of this game. I've never actually played it before. This is my first time, and I don't know what the hell was wrong with me when I chose to not willingly play Crazy Frog Racer on the GBA, because this is a very excellent game. Look, I'm literally laughing people, and I'm shooting them. Wow, that was an excellent race. I went in a straight line twice. Let's go. I think this is the final track. Let's see what this one has to offer. It's doing the thing again. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, we gotta, we gotta do a little bit of drifting here. A little bit of drifting is required so we can smoothly take the turn. I think I landed on a bomb, but because I have this fresh team racing shield, I was fine. Here we go. Let's do this. And the, the best item ever. There we go. Now we are far ahead of everybody else, 
and I do not think we can lose. So, uh, let's, uh, let's take the moment of peace we have right now, you know, considering I'm so far ahead of everybody, and it doesn't matter. Let's, let's talk a little bit. Let's talk. Flower, why, why are you playing Crazy, Crazy Frog Racer for the GBA currently? Why are you doing this? It's because, you know, I, uh, life has been a little rough on me recently. Some things that I wish didn't happen, happened. And I thought to myself, I'm going a little, I'm going a little crazy. You know, I, I personally like to go crazy sometimes, but that's this time. It's, a, it's a, a little too crazy. And then I thought to myself, I'm, I'm getting crazy, like like a certain frog from my childhood. And then I remember Crazy Frog. And I wonder, like, what, what's up with Crazy Frog? I know he has a Twitter account. I know that he posted a picture of, uh, of himself committing suicide. I know he posted the word penis on that same account. And it's still not deleted, which means that it's much better to post the word penis than uh, your character committing suicide. And also, Joel, a little Vine Toss thing, which means that whoever runs that account is a, is a good person. But I thought to myself, doesn't Crazy Frog have games? But then I saw a video talking about the history of Crazy Frog. Then I saw there was a, a racing game for GBA, DS, and PS2, I believe. And then I thought to myself, ah, I want to play that, but I want to make it a special occasion. I don't want this to be any game. I want to play this for a video. And now here I am. And as you can see, very, very good gameplay. We won the Crazy Frog Tournament. We are, at, we are classified as the number one craziest frog. Better than Big Elk and Dream Boy. I really hope that these characters existed before this game because I don't like it when they create fake bullshit for my crazy frog video. Okay, we can we can put our names here. We can put our names. Let's start. I think. Okay, I'm seeing it right now. The game is in a very small perspective. I, it's very hard for me to see. Okay, so that was the first tournament. Let's uh, let's spice things up. We can, we have a we have a 100 CC. We just did 50 CC, and uh, there's still the the silver. I mean, considering it's bronze, the next logical step is to go silver. Maybe maybe we have uh, an even crazier time. So let's uh, let's wait until the game loads really quick so I w I'm gonna finish that fucking story because I, I, I didn't get to finish it but I was I'm having through some I'm, ha I'm going through some tough shit in my life I'm going crazy and then I remember Crazy Frog and I saw this game and I wanted to play it Crazy Frog is a weird character for me to be like a joke on the internet because when I was a kid my dad had a phone you know those old phones and he had the video. I don't know if he subscribed to Jamster. I don't know if he just got it, somebody sent it to him or something, or if he paid for it. All I know is that his phone had it, and uh, when I was a very, very, very young boy, uh, I would often, whenever he would have his phone on him, I would often go, Pai, coloca o vídeo do sapinho. And he would play it, and I would watch that video of... Uh, Ding ding Let's do the crazy frog And I never understood what the fuck 
the words were because I am Brazilian as I think some of you know the game fucking crazy <laughs> Ding 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 